when Christ descended into heaven, he gave the apostles the great commission to go out and make disciples of all nations. And God never gives us a job to do, that he never gives us the tools in which to do it. So um, he promised them to send out the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. That he brings with himself a tremendous power uh, to go forth and to evangelize peoples and to change people's lives and to, to go forth with courage and conviction. It made me, it, it, it made me Catholic, so to speak. You just go up there and you feel like a completely changed person and you are, you are a changed person. Um, confirmation is a sacrament of the Catholic Church uh, in which you are given uh, special graces through the Holy Spirit. A strengthening of the, of your spirit and your soul to face the, uh, face the conflicts of life. When I take on the, the religion that my parents have raised me in, um, when I kind of take, I take control over educating myself and my faith. It, it really is a, a sacrament of completion of uh, the sacrament of baptism. In a sense, what happens in, uh, in, in baptism is an initiation into the life of the Holy Spirit. Uh, that's completed and sealed with the sacrament of confirmation. By being confirmed, we are uh, being made available to more graces. So more graces allow us to grow deeper in our spiritual life and allow us to have a more full and rich uh, experience as Catholics. Uh, we all love stories about heroes that have to struggle to defend what they, um, what they believe in and what they value, and uh, heroes that have a mission to accomplish and the sacrament of confirmation is all about that. It's about equipping us and armoring us and strengthening us uh, to do great things for the church um, and to do great things for Christ. You should be excited because of the just same reasons the extra grace is, is going to be given to you and you're going to be taking the faith that your parents gave you and making it your own. Um, you're entering adulthood, you're a young adult and you're going to face serious things so it's, it's exciting because you're giving extra special graces which should always be exciting. Um, it's something that only happens once in your life. Um, it's, it's a really special gift, and I think if you even research and learn more about the Sacrament of Confirmation, the more you're going to fall in love with it and be excited about it. It is the first sacrament where you are really accepting it, and you are taking it on. You know, as baptism, our parents have us baptized, and you know, for uh, communion and penance, you know, we're not really at an age where we can make where we can make a decision you know to that magnitude so our parents you know help us they, we go through the steps you know with them but confirmation is really when it's up to us it's like that first pentecost when the holy spirit came down upon the apostles in that upper room and they were, they were forever changed because of the power of the Spirit that lived within them. And that's something that people have to understand, that this is God present within themselves. This is something that's bringing you into full communion with, uh, with God. And so it's not something to take lightly. It's not a choice that your parents should be making for you. You should be making this choice. Uh, to grow closer to God and to become a full member of His church. My advice to you would be to educate yourself in the sense that know what you are getting into with confirmation. You know, be prepared. Um, try to truly understand the magnitude of such a beautiful sacrament and what you are truly doing when you receive the sacrament of uh, when you receive the Holy Spirit, the sacrament of confirmation. I think the more you learn about it, the more you're going to realize what a gift it actually is and you're going to be able to appreciate it and to really accept that grace because you're going to be facing some really hard stuff in your life. Um, the older you get, the harder it gets, unfortunately, but uh, that special grace can be a huge advantage. Well, a couple of things in terms of advice for these young people. First of all, they've chosen confirmation names, a name of a saint upon who uh, they would like to, to model their own lives. So I would say that's one of the things that's important, is to really take the life of the saint whose name that they have assumed for themselves and to try to imitate and model, model the life of that saint. 
Uh, secondly, to recognize that these gifts are permanent gifts. God gives these gifts of the, of the Holy Spirit and they live within the person forever, uh, for the rest of their lives. With that grace, I mean, you can move so many people. I mean, it's like that first Pentecost when the apostles were scared in the upper room and then they went out and spoke in different languages that everybody understood. They went out and they were not afraid of those 3,000 people that were standing there. Like thinking um, what, what this will mean to me later and what it's gonna, what kind of change it's gonna bring to me. When I failed, it's also a source of strength because I can always pray the Holy Spirit to renew that grace in me, uh, to strengthen me, to, um, to get back up and to, um, to fulfill my mission. Confirmation means that you're responsible, you know, you take on the responsibility. Recognize you have the gift, don't be afraid to use it.